BC East do the announcer. Thank you so much for joining us. Folks, if you, you have not already, hit that follow button like it owes you some money. Laser Pew Pew just subscribed. All right, guys, listen. Prime. Um, sorry to interrupt no, go you, ahead, go ahead. I got a mask, guys. Wish me luck. And um, keep in tune with the stream, please. All right. Are you, uh, are you on stream? Uh, okay, fair enough. That's uh, hey, well, joining me instead of uh, Uno, the the quick tag out to uh to travesty. Yeah, what's Quite what's up, everybody? Stu, it's been a while since we've been on the mic. How's yeah, it seriously, it's been it's been at least a few months. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, so uh, good to either, see y'all. Either way, and and it's, uh, we're glad to see you as well. So as we're going here, here at the monthly for game, uh, matchup number two. Not really sure what's happening, but we'll give you the quick update. Six WX is kicking off his action against Blade Hammer. Uh, hammer with one M should be noted. So uh, oh, you're right. I was gonna say because his tag was two was two weapons before that, but now it's just like a singular like blade object. Where instead of a yeah. blade and a hammer. Well, was it, maybe maybe he took out that one M, tried to turn it upside down and turn it into a W against a PGR player. It's certainly possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, the winner of that will go on to face the winner of Slash Baker. Slash Baker. And John, wow, how did I get crossed up on a name? No wonder, no wonder I can't play this game. Uh, slash Baker and Joshathan G, who has a couple of fans in the chat. So shout out to he everyone. No, uh, he's, he frequent he frequents the BC chat. Uh, it doesn't come to Friday that often. I don't know if it's like a school conflict or something, but uh, he often shows up to these Sunday events. Uh, rocks a number of uh, good characters. Definitely seems like a counter picker kind of guy. I wonder who he's got in this game. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the the world may uh, the world may never know. However. Coming up on a uh, stream, actually, is this uh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Slash Baker and Jonathan. Oh my! Um, so the I actually played. I played against Slash Baker yesterday. He went. He was rocking Gandorf and Krom. Uh, the two mm. games I played on him. Uh, you know, well, yeah. they both met the Ridley. But yeah, you know, the cunning god of death. We're going on to uh, PS2 game one. Exactly, and uh, a quick update on the rest of the bracket. Luck facing King Gelatin. The winner of that will face the winner of Hero and Zombie. Oh, Dan the, okay, Joshathan's going Rob. This is actually interesting. Dan the Man is the first person to advance to winner's round three. Beast beating Moral Atheist shortly thereafter. And Delhi versus Travesty also in round three. But we've got round two action to take care of right now. And, and it seems... <laughs> there was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, there was a mistake. Is a mistake in, uh, on the tag, it seems. Kept the uh, the Bren tag mm -hmm. that Jaden was using. So we're going to see... Uh, Joshathan and Slash Baker. All right. so and it seems that Joshathan is uh, breaking out the Rob. Yeah, that's interesting. Because um, I knew in Smash 4 he played like Diddy and Bayo and I think Cloud as well. So. Um, anyway, we got the Ganon Rob matchup. And uh, in Smash 4, Rob really liked playing the heavyweights. Um, mm. He had extremely he had good boxing frame data and good zoning tools. So that just like altogether doesn't spill a good time for uh, heavyweights. But Ganondorf's there. Very large, very easy to hit the telegraph location of Rob. Even if he throws that up there, it can trade and be a bad time for him. So we'll see how uh, Slash Baker wants to capitalize going off the PS2. Rob with a pocket Ike. So waiting in the wings is uh, yet another sortie to uh, perhaps match up against the Krom of Slash Baker. Who mm -hmm. knows? We'll see. And uh, either way, a duel of wits and, of course, hands if you can call what Rob has hands. In game number one, Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, and, and as you saw, um, one opening for Ganondorf <laughs> as getting him 65% uh, and then just one more hit going to 80. So anything was already about to kill. But Rob's Rob's new Nair, and by new Nair I mean the same Nair but just faster and better, um, can be kind of tricky to handle if you don't have the parry timing correctly. I was playing uh, I was playing Joshathan earlier on, and yeah, that Rob, definitely a tricky beast. Uh, and you see, uh, the f yeah, the tag out there for you future Funk fans. Shout out <laughs> to Lum. But uh, definitely a tricky one. That uh, that gyro, of course, so reliant on it. So if you can uh, take that away as a threat, then really there's not a whole lot that this uh, that this Rob can Ooh, lean on. And that was a bad whiz kick. He was not in, he was not in any range to hit him, so it was just telegraph from that point. Because the thing about whiz kick Ooh. is that. The startup is a lot more ambiguous, so it can really catch people, especially up close. But if you're far away like that, Josh had all the time in the world to react to that. All right, let's see how he plans to stop him. All right, that's good. Using the up air to shark through the stage. Coming in with uh, fares and down tilts. Yeah, and he has lost the stock already, so already he's playing catch up. And that means you really have no choice but try to approach this Rob. That means that Rob can let the game come to him, and it's showing right now, as, uh, although he Ooh. just got put in disadvantage. Super good. Full hop forward air on the roll read. Remember, full hops do more damage. So. Yeah. 
Now right, just as a. Uh, now just as a. Uh, oh, did you just uh, switch out your chair? Or what was that? Uh, no, I know. I, I hit something. But oh. no, we're gonna get the down throw barry into up tilt. No up air there. Not true at that percent. You know, it's a bad time when you're hitting stuff standing Ooh, still. That was that was good. You could have if he went for the dare. Ooh. It would have been too slow. He might have got hit on the way up. But goes for the very quick fair. Um, Ganondorf already expending his double jump, not having the air speed to make it back. And now it's a full stock advantage for Joshathan as he is uh, doing. That's two. Oh, wow. Oh. That's a 50-50. <laughs> and he got two in a row. I mean, he's doing everything that he needs to do on stage. Doesn't really need to get super fancy here in order to win this matchup. Runs straight into the gyroid. Does slash Baker. Not a whole lot he Ooh. could have done. Oh, well, well spot I'll dodged. That, that was actually um, that was actually a uh, short hop neutral air dodge. Please. Yeah, no. So uh, so it was. That was uh, clever. All right, good recovery. Mixes up his direction. Ooh, that's oh, smash catching the roll. Yeah, that sword coming out. One of the many improvements that Ganondorf has received, and obviously every character received uh, somewhat of a windfall. Oh, oh that beep only boop combo. That only worked because he because uh, Ganondorf double jumped into that. This is true. Highly preventable stuff, and you got to think that Slash Baker has to be thinking. Of, His shield uh, is very low already. Yeah. In this, in this game, shields poke a lot easier, and Ganondorf's a big target. You know, shields not nearly what they were in Smash 4. It's a game that rewards aggression, Ultimate. And as we're seeing here, right. oh, just daring him to no, come that was, up with that, that was gyro. a really good wait. Just wait for the gyro because uh, Rob always wants to follow up on a gyro oh. off the ledge. Ooh. Yeah, looked for the read. Barely out of the way. And notice he was smart, did a forward tilt out of the spot dodge. If you attack out of spot dodge, you have five extra frames to work with. Oh, no, he's got no jump. Yeah, and mm. just like that, the aerial game is going to be the downfall of Slash Baker Joshathan rolling through with Rob to game number two with a 1-0 lead. And so what you were seeing from uh, from Joshathan, it seemed like it was impressing you. It was very clean, very effective Rob play. Didn't need to do anything particularly special in order to take, uh, in order to dispose of that Ganondorf, mm -hmm. is this just a bad matchup thing, or was I, it preventable I, on Slash Baker's part? I think it's. I think Slash Baker played that very well. Um, I do think the matchup is bad because Rob's just a better character, and he was always very good against heavies, um, for a lot of factors. I actually would argue that Joshathan did not play that matchup optimally. He was approaching a lot when he had a lead. Um, that's yeah, said, that was. Uh, that that was said, noticeable. I think Slash Baker. His main thing is that he's got to save his double jump more, because um, two of his stocks were gone because he double jumped too early and got hit out of it. And Ganondorf doesn't have the aerial ability to make it back after that happens. Um, so I think the main thing is saving his double jump and just being making better decisions on the ledge, because uh, Ganondorf has great edge guarding tools, and Rob is a free target even if he can attack. He can't be Ganon's hitboxes. We're going to go off to Yoshi's Island Brawl now. So interesting counter pick, maybe. Uh, actually, neither of them really benefit from the wall, so I'm actually not sure why we went here. Maybe just to screw up ledge traps. Actually, the gyro. Yeah, the gyro. Yeah, it it does have that. the benefit off of that slant, so it goes outward just a little bit more if you uh, space it out right. So we'll definitely see the uh, the skill of Josh Thin's gyroid play come uh, come in as a factor, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was looking for it there. Looked like he had that about right. Yeah, he committed to a dash there, got hit by the laser, but... Already game off to a close start, but ooh, just kind of stands there and takes that dash attack. All right, makes it back to stage. How's it gonna? Okay, looking for the roll there. But I think you gotta condition the roll first by making sure that he doesn't have access to the other options. Because ledge roll is a much better option in this game. It's four frames faster, and you couple that with the um, shield taking longer to get, come down. Um, it's just an option that if you're looking for um, a neutral getup, a ledge roll is a lot easier to get away with. So it's better to just condition that first, but ooh, ooh, oh man, that. he was only a few frames short of that working. But you're gonna get the quick up smash out of Rob. Yeah, I think the early hitbox of that comes out very quickly and scoops you into the rest. I'm starting to see what you mean by the fact that he's uh, maybe just a little too aggressive as Rob. That oh, was the actually side smart using the air dodge first, but I guess he already used his double jump and I just missed it. So yeah, <laughs> no, and, and uh, I, I get what you I get what you're saying though. As uh, before, I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, yeah, no. Somehow I uh, somehow I don't think Joshathan cares all that much. <laughs> certainly doesn't care about what this Ganondorf is throwing out. What a parry into the grab. And he certainly has no care for human or Gerudo life. But yeah, exactly. Oh, you're the only male born in 100 years. See how much I care about that. He's a robot that exists in the real world. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> no, it's just... No, I, I mean, no. This is a family really. stream, man. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but luckily oh, he's okay. off the mic and oh, that's, that's a good, 
All right, all right. Yeah, red I that agree. tech chase, beautiful. I it wasn't a tech chase, it was oh. a ledge roll. But I, ledge I agree roll, with you. going for the dare there because that's a big dare. Um, Rob cannot challenge that with up air. The problem is he went for it too early and he just he missed it laterally. Like if he jumped later, um, and he would have gotten there, Rob was in no position to air dodge to escape that. But going for the dare, right decision. But uh, ends up losing positioning, gets to the ledge last, and that's when bad things can really happen. You know, you you look away for a second and all of a sudden you just. Uh, Missed the game being over that quickly for Slash Baker. And Jonathan looking clean with that Rob. Uh, unorthodox to say the least. However, he will move on to face the winner of 6WX in Bladehammer mm -hmm. in winner's round three action. You bet. Um, so it's, it's interesting because I was reading the chat that he also has an Ike secondary. And yeah. No, and uh, we um, didn't need to break Ike, that out. It's just, it's just cool because those are both Rob and Ike, both characters that uh, are very strong in the early meta because of people not knowing how to parry stuff. And by not knowing, I just more mean like people are not comfortable parrying things. But yeah. characters that get a lot of that particular option. That's why you get the tactical triggers, man. You it's bet. Helped me out. I also use uh, I use X um, on my GameCube controller for that because that is the same effect. So I just put X to shield. Um, I don't always get parries with it, but uh, eh, it works. Helps me as well because.